Signe Bone, and I'm here to answer the question, do Canadians care about the arts? Culture and arts are two different yet broad terms that are difficult to separate. What do Canadians think about the arts? Are they appreciated? Is it just for the wealthy? In 2008, Stephen Harper stated that ordinary people don't care about the arts, cutting $45 million to arts and culture funding. Let's fast forward to 2011. Conservatives offered a tiny token tax credit, a small step forward you might say, but it pales in comparison to the $24 million per year allocated to the sports program, Road to Excellence. Where is a similar bold program for young artists? Does our conservative leader still believe that Canadians have no sympathy for rich artists who gather at galas to whine about their grants? To be quite honest, I'm not sure where the vision of wealthy artists came from. What happened to the poetic picture of a starving artist? Has Canada's funding come so far that they have all become rich, Galagoyan, upper-class snobs? Wait, aren't the artists the ones providing the entertainment so they can pay the rent? Where does Ottawa stand on support for Canada's culture and identity as people? Does funding stack up? In 2011, Canada Council received $190 million from Ottawa, while Social Sciences and Humanity Council received $350 million, and the National Research Council got over a billion dollars. Clearly, federal funding for the arts is not one of the Conservatives' top priority. In fact, Ottawa's Economic Action Plan does little to promote Canadian culture and identity. With arts being a prime voice for identity, no matter what culture, where does that put Canadians? Let's go find out. I think the arts are very important. And do I enjoy them? Uh, life without you know, music or art would be really boring. Um, <laughs> in fact, almost not not lifelike at all. Uh, I think it's what gives the city its feeling, you know? Like, there's things, things that ground the city, but the arts really bring the enjoyment to the city. That's it. From a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, how would you rate the arts as part of Canadian society? 10. Very important. Yeah. Um, you know, I work at a jail for teenagers and I view the arts as very important. Sometimes when you can't reach somebody through, you know, positive ways, art is a really good way to, to go there. Do you feel that arts are important to have within the education system? Definitely. Ten. 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 Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Enjoy welcome. your afternoon. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> From 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, how would you rate the arts as important within Canadian society? I don't know, 5 I guess. I 5? Know, I don't know much about it. How Canadian society views the arts and if you enjoy the arts? Not really. Would you be open to an interview? Do you enjoy the arts? Yes, I love it. I am from Cuba, but I am living in Canada since 14 years ago. Cuba is bringing to Canada a, a some kind of a style, you know, like mm. bolero, cha-cha. So in Cuba, do you feel that it's the arts and music is supported, enjoyed by the society, the Cuban society? They... Yes, yes. Cuban society is a lot, a lot the music, yes. Mm -hmm. Canada is so open, it's a free country and full of expression, art expression, yes. Excuse me, do you enjoy the arts? Sorry, I speak a little bit English. Can you be open to answer a couple questions? About what? The arts. Do you enjoy the arts? Of course. Um, rating 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, how would you uh, rate the importance of arts within Canadian society? Uh, ten. Do you think Canadians are more creative than we let on? Yeah, I think we don't give ourselves enough credit, but yeah, for sure. So? Now that we've found out what some ordinary Canadians feel about the arts, let's go find out what some artists and established art lovers think. I guess my first question could be, what inspired you to follow your path into flamenco? 
Hmm. I don't think I had a choice. I, I fell in love with flamenco the first time I ever saw it, and I started teaching here. I did uh, various jobs too in order to continue on in the art form. It was only to support the art form. I had no <laughs> thoughts at the time when I was younger about supporting a family. Mm -hmm. And that's the situation now is because, um, you know, in, in order to support the arts, I need financing, but I also need it to support the family as well, you know, I have a kid, and, and, and that's always definitely a challenge. It's, it's hard to keep yourself, you know, as a dance teacher, you need to promote yourself, you need to do a mm -hmm. lot. Of, I have applied for some grants here and again in the past, so I've had some mm -hmm. funding from the government, um, but it, it was never really in a significant amount. When you see these kids or just adults come into your dance classes, yes. you see the change in the person. It's so fantastic to see people completely revolutionized once they've been dancing and once they've been exposed to that. Mm -hmm. um, I shake my head all the time and in amazement how it transforms people that way. Mm -hmm. And the more confident they are and the more expressive they are, the happier they are, the more relaxed they are, mm -hmm. and the more they're in touch with an ability to really appreciate and enjoy things in life. And the more people feel free to do that and feel encouraged to do that, mm -hmm. I think the stronger we are as a people and as a culture and as a country. <laughs> a safe space for me to explore a lot of aspects of my identity that I would not necessarily have if I was an athlete, if I was uh, you know, a science-focused academic, things like that. I feel like the arts has definitely made me a, a, not only a more well-rounded person, but a healthy person. A lot of the arts are, are seen as really classist, and a lot of that is a resourced opportunity-based thing. And I'm going to pursue my MFA at UBC in the fall, and my master's is entirely unfunded. I've had one offer of a scholarship, but if I didn't come from a middle-class family where my school was largely paid for, there's no way I'd be able to afford doing a master's. And it's only becoming clear to me now as, as an adult that a lot of our, not only our identity is really rooted in place and that's reflected in our, in our art scene here and our culture, um, I think too often as Canadians we're told that we don't care about the arts and I think that's not true, it's an insult and the only support I've had as a younger artist has come from the public and, and myself as a part of it and I think that to ignore that does ourselves a disservice and I think it's also a lie. It's, it's a part of our culture that's really, really important and we need to start practicing to say that a little more loudly. Sweat until we can get this without fighting, without waiting rooms full of tears, without second thoughts or second chances. I don't want second chances. I just want some results. I knew contemporary and jazz and hip hop. It taught me to see beyond what was in front of me and I could take that to school as well too and help me out with like any subject I had or any other sports or something like that that I would be doing and um, so many dancers, for instance, who come from here and leave to other places and become so successful and they claim that they're from other places, you know what I mean? And no one really remembers, you know, they're actually from here. Mm -hmm. And it just is so, it's hard because you, you almost want to, you want to stay here because you love the country so much, mm -hmm. but it's just that you feel like you have more opportunity elsewhere and you need to go to other places and travel so far to get noticed and get recognized. It'd be nice if we had the opportunity to um, get funding here and and be able to stay here because or even just encourage you to come back once you better your education exactly exactly but i feel like um we have some catching up to do i think <laughs> proven now beyond really a shadow of a doubt that uh, music education is extremely important in the development of our brain. So for one thing, people have to be trained to teach this 
which means we have to be able to maintain it in the system so that enough qualified teachers can be hired because it doesn't help anybody if they this year and gone next year. Now funding, funding, funding and training of the teachers. It is achievable, but mm -hmm. it takes effort and it takes money. That's After interviewing Canadians on their view and support for the arts, is the level of funding sufficient? Currently, there is a small token tax of $500 for children under 18. Is this enough? What about the continuing budget cuts of the arts and schools? What about funding for professional artists who are to pave the way for the youth and add to the education system? Could it be that our artists haven't been showcased, supported, funded enough in Canada for Canadians to see how many talented, vibrant, innovative artists we have? We lose so many artists to other countries because they have support and funding. Where does that leave us? What should Canadians do? Go to local venues and enjoy live music. Go to a local play, an art gallery, and even the park where you may find sculptures. This is where arts are. On stages, on TV, in coffee shops, in accessible venues for average Canadians. Support the arts. Be proud to be Canadian. I'm Sydney Bone, and I'm proud to be a Canadian artist. And down my rhyme, an L. L is for the love that's needed for any artist to rise above hate and greed. An L is also for the love of the tradition and the love from my people that keeps me driven on to E. Everything but entertainment. This vibration is education and a way for me to stay sane, keeping my brain on something that's real. And this is a medium that people can feel. And N? And it's for no damn nonsense, cause it's not talent if you don't got a conscience. Constantly trying to make a dollar off the youth, but the kids are getting smarter and they recognize the truth like tea. T is for take some to see some. Those who recognize wise probably got some wisdom. But T is also for the end of the track. I can't believe everybody listens to me rap, but I'm happy that you do, cause I'm closer to my balance. And now you know what it means to have a little talent. Do Canadians care about the arts?